Hey, this is Shannon and Amelia, and this is our biology project on evolutionary theory of Darwin and Lamarck. And it's to the tune of Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song. So, so here we go. Now this is a story all about how Darwin twisted Lamarck's evolution theory upside down. And I'd like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you all about how the world evolved from just sitting there. In South Galapagos, educated in days on the island is where Darwin spent most of his days. Writing and drawing and looking all cool, he studied those finches all sitting upon his stool. When a couple ideas sprang into his head about the beaks that laid upon the finches' head, he got one little thought that turned into a theory and thus became Darwin's book, The Origin of Species. He researched and studied day after day, but just concluded that Lamarck's theory was not the right way. He gave it a thought and then collected the fossils. He put his research together and said, forget the inheritance of acquired traits, the best survive. Inherited traits, yo, that's bad. Thinking giraffes just wishing for necks to reach those fruits and dates. That's how giraffes got their necks, right? Hmm, I don't think so, but that's all right. Because wait, here comes Darwin, educated and all that. Just fix the Mark series. Psh, silly cat. I don't think so. I'll explain when I get there. I hope to prepare for Darwin's theory of evolution. boat landed in when he came out there was a bird looked like a finch and there was his brothers out he wasn't understanding quite yet he just got there but he sprang with the quickness of knowledge and like Einstein had a revelation he motioned for his books and when they came near the title said bird and had a finch on the rear if anything he could say that this bird was rare so he said hey what's the discovery and he shared he came upon another finch about seven or eight and yelled to his father joe look at that beak he looked at the island, he had finally done it, figured out how and why the beaks were so variated. In the south part of the island, hungry and tired, Darwin saw yet another finch that he admired. Drawing and riding and looking all cool when a couple of finches ran right next to his stool. They're tweeting and become a distraction he got. And one little thought that became part of his theory. He said genetic variation, that's why one of the finches had the same beaks and got a little teary. He thought he thought day after day and concluded that finches have adapted so they can stay. He gave a name and put it aside. Oh, look, overpopulation is where he abides. Overpopulation, yo, this is bad. Competing for food is really sad. But the environment wipes out when someone's out. Leaving the woods as the best made out. And the best can reproduce and pass the traits on to their youth. And that's why Darwin's theory survives until today. And that's the reason why we're going to be this way.